everything finally came together this year for three Arkansas soybean farmers to surpass 100 bushels per acre in the Race for 100 Yield Contest. In 1995, Eddie Tackett's family purchased an 80-acre farm three miles southeast of Atkins that has produced very good yields for all of his crops, in particular soybeans. In 1996, it yielded 58 bushels per acre. The next year, that improved to 74 bushels. This year, a verification team confirmed September 27th that a five-acre plot had a yield of 104.83 bushels per acre, making Tackett the third farmer to exceed 100 bushels. The Race for 100 is a joint effort of the Arkansas Soybean Association, which administers the contest, and Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board, which put up $50,000 in prize money. This one particular farm, yeah, we found what we thought was a sweet spot. And to be quite honest, it's the exact same spot that we cut last year, and they cut right at 90 bushels. And all summer long, I felt like that we were a little stronger, a little cleaner. And one thing we did do, we uh, put uh, some Mother Nature chicken litter on it, uh, plus commercial litter. And, uh, or commercial fertilize, and the beans got off to a really good start. Tackett and two growers from southeast Arkansas, who also achieved 100 bushels, will split the $50,000. In addition to good soil and irrigation, Tackett said his yield increases are also due to improved seed varieties. I'm gonna tip my hat off to the soybean and uh, the seed breeders in general, whether it be soybeans, cotton, corn, rice, because all of our yields have come up, not just here in River Valley and not just on our farm, but you know, across the nation. And uh, the dirt's the same as it was in 1996 whenever we started farming it. Tackett's neighbor, Robert Stobaugh, is a member of the Soybean Association. He says the main benefit of the contest is for farmers who participate to share their production methods and help other growers improve their yields. Overall, it's, um, it's, it's just been a great uh, culmination to uh, an idea that came to us a few years ago that said, hey, you know, uh, we utilize the university for a lot of research and they've been excellent at it. I mean, just the greatest. Uh, and we take research from all over the country at the same levels. But what about using our own farmers as research? And that's what this contest did. Phil Sims is staff chair of the Pope County Cooperative Extension Service and served on the team which verified Tackett's 104 bushel yield. They both emphasize it takes a team effort to achieve these results. Really, it's been uh, a team effort across research, the soil fertility folks, the entomologists, their, our plant pathologists. It's been a, a statewide team effort to, to make the uh, agronomic uh, things happen behind the scenes. And of course, our plant breeders and things, getting the genetics out there, um, and Eddie and, and different ones have taken advantage of that. The Soybean Association also administers the Grow for the Green Yield Challenge for the Promotion Board, which rewards the top three producers in seven production regions of the state. The goal is not just to reward individual farmers for their production, but to make these higher yields an annual occurrence through the sharing of information from contest participants. <laughs>